Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin ang polygons. Pero bago tayo magsimula, pakilike naman itong video. At kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe, ay masubscribe ka na. At kapag ginawa mo yun, matutupad ang iyong mga pangarap. Like a cut. Polygons is derived from two Greek words, poly and gon. Poly means many and gon meaning angel. So, polygon has many angel. Polygon is a closed figure made up of three or more line segments joined at their endpoints. For example, yung mga polygon say triangle, square or rectangle, pentagon, and so on. Meron tayo yung classification of polygons. Yung classification ng polygons ay depende sa number of sides. Kung tatlong sides, that is triangle. Four sides, quadrilateral. Five sides, pentagon. 6 sides hexagon, 7 sides heptagon, 8 sides octagon, 9 sides nonagon, 10 sides decagon, and so on. Meron din tayong tinatawag na concave at convex. Kapag convex, ganito siya. At concave, ganito naman. Anong pagkakayaba nila? Ang concave, from the word cave, meron siyang part na ganito. Ito yung tinatawag na exterior angels. So, ang concave ay merong exterior angles. Samantalang ang convex ay walang exterior angles. Puro interior angles lamang. Meron din tayong mga parts ng polygons. So, we have this polygon A, B, C, D, E. So, meron ditong consecutive vertices. Kapag sinabing consecutive, magkakasunod. Ang vertices naman natin is yung A, itong B, C, D, and E. So, ang consecutive vertices, we have A and B. B and C, C and D, D and E, at A and E. Meron din consecutive sides. So, magkasunod na sides. We have A, B and B, C. B, C and C, D. D, E and A, E. Paano kapag sinabing A, B and D, E? Consecutive sides ba yun? Hindi yun consecutive sides kasi nga hindi sila magkasunod. Meron din consecutive angles. So, we have angle A, B, C and Angle B, C, D. Angle B, C, D and Angle C, D, E. Angle C, D, E and Angle D, A, A. Angle D, E, A and Angle E, A, B. And Angle E, A, B and Angle A, B, C. Basta magkakasunod lang ng mga angle. So, let's have this another figure. So, this is a hexagon. Kung nakikita nyo, merong points sa gitna. Yun yung center. So, ang center nito is G. And then, itong line na to, itong dotted line, ito yung central angle. We have central angle, angle AGB. And exterior angle, we have here. Angle CDH. Para naman yung mga interior angles. So, marami-rami to. We have angle FED, angle EDC, angle DCB, Angle CBA, Angle CDH, Angle BHF, Angle FAG, Angle ABG, Angle CBG, Angle AGB, and Angle BAG. Meron din mga diagonal sa isang polygon. So for example, this polygon, ito yung mga diagonals niya. So ilan ang diagonal ng isang polygon? Ang diagonal ng isang polygon ay depende kung ilan yung number of sides niya. So, paano kung napakaraming sides ng isang polygon? Mahirap bilangin yung diagonals niya. So, meron tayong ditong formula. Number of diagonals is equal to n times n minus 3 over 2. So, gamit yung formula, hanapin natin yung number of diagonals ng polygon na to. So, ilan sides nga ba ito? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is 7-sided polygon. Substitute natin, n is 7, kasi nga 7 sides, times 7 minus 3 over 2. So 7 times 7 minus 3 is 4 over 2. And what is 7 times 4? That is 28. So 28 over 2. And 28 divided by 2, that is equal to 14. So, this polygon it has 14 diagonals. Next example, 
how many diagonals can be drawn in a polygon of 14 sides? So again, ano yung formula natin? Number of diagonals is equal to n times n minus 3 over 2. So substitute lang natin. Yung n is 14 kasi nga 14 sides. So n is 14 times 14 minus 3 over 2. And 14 times 14 minus 3 is 11. So that is 14 times 11 over 2. And what is 14 times 11? That is equal to 154 over 2. And 154 divided by 2, that is equal to 77. So kapag ang polygon ay may 14 sides, meron siyang 77 diagonals. Next example, a polygon has 20 diagonals. How many sides does the polygon have? So ang given naman natin is yung diagonals. So again, what is our formula? So formula is number of diagonals is equal to n minus n minus 3 times n minus 3 over 2. So ang given is diagonal. So substitute lang natin. So that is 20. And that is equal to n times n minus 3 over 2. Okay, so compute natin. So 20. So this 20. N times N, that is N square. Then N times negative 3, that is negative 3N. Over 2. Okay, so para mawala yung over 2 yan, multiply natin both side by 2. So multiply both side by 2. So 20 times 2, that is 40. Then that is equal to N squared minus 3n. Maka-cancel lang yung 2 dito. So, magsasamahin natin lahat yan. So, equate natin yan sa 0. So, that is n squared minus 3n then positive 40 magiging negative 40. Then, equate natin sa 0. O, so, next. Ang gagawin lang natin is i-factor natin itong dalawang to. So, factor Dalawang parenthesis. Then n squared, so that is n. Na dalawa. And then 40. Negative 40. Ano yung dalawang numbers na kapag pinag-multiply mo ay negative 40, tapos pag pinag-add mo is negative 3. So try natin yung 8 and 5. So 8 times 5 is 40. Pero negative to, kaya yung isang number dun is negative. Since negative tong second term, so negative yung mas malaki. So negative 8. And positive 5. So negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. Negative 8 plus 5, negative 3. So that is n is equal to negative 8 magiging positive 8. And n positive 5 magiging negative 5. So alin yung sagot dito? 8 or negative 5? Since number of sides ang hinahanap, so hindi pwede maging negative. So, n is equal to 8. Yung positive ang kunin natin. Huwag yung negative. 